Hello everyone, this is Reza from Redacad and today I'm going to talk about one of the exciting features in Power BI visuals called Report Page Tooltip, which customize the tooltip that you see in uh, Power BI chart instead of this black box showing just text and numbers, it will it enables you to show charts and a whole report, which can be a good uh, layer in between your master detail design. Let's check it out. Like many other videos, um, to download the data set used for this example, uh, use the link down in the description to my blog article. Uh, this is a data set called AdventureWorks, which has sales information of some products related to bikes and customers and things like that. So let's say I have a report page like this. And in this report page, I have uh, different charts showing different sales information. When I hover on any of these charts, you see that there's a tooltip page showed here. Uh, now let, let me enable the zooming. Uh, so this tooltip page, uh, when I see it, it's like a um, very basic tooltip. It just show uh, a black box, text, numbers, and things like that. What I'm going to show you is how to make this a whole um, uh, report itself uh, using a, using a, a very useful report instead of that uh, tooltip. So let's check it out. First thing you have to do is to go and create a new page because that is going to be a report page. So let's go and create a new page. You can call it anything. I'm going to call it tooltip for um, sales. You can build as many as tooltips you want. Um, now, one of the things about this tooltip page is that other pages should identify this page as a tooltip page. The way that this can be done is to go to the format. You have to go to the format of this new page. In the page information, you have to turn tooltip on. This is necessary. Otherwise, you cannot use it in other uh, charts as a tooltip, right? So format page information, turn tooltip on. This is one thing. Another thing about this is that when you hover on a chart, uh, this is where that tooltip would come up. And you don't want this tooltip to be as big as the entire screen, right? So the size of this tooltip page is also important. So going back to my tooltip page, in addition to that page information tooltip on, I would also go to the page size and set a specific size. The default size usually is 16 by nine. You can choose other types. There is a predefined tooltip size. You can use that, or you can put the custom size and put whatever you want. I'm going to use that tooltip for this example. Now, when I change the size, um, I still see the same size in my desktop because everything is stretched out to fit into the screen. But if I start doing a visualization, I will see that things are bigger because the page size is smaller. Um, now, let's uh, say, for example, I build a chart with sales amount here and you see how big it is because the page size is uh, now much bigger. Uh, smaller and fitted into the screen which stretches everything bigger so sales amount by let's say uh, full date i'm just building a visual over here so let's say this is my column chart showing sales by years and i will also create a card visual making that slightly smaller a card visual here that shows uh, the total sales. This is a normal report page, so you can uh, spend time and build it exactly whatever you like. So let's say I make the category label slightly smaller, data label as well, make them both smaller, a copy of that, putting it here down below and choosing order quantity for this. Right, so let's say this is our report page. And just to make it a little bit different from other pages, I put a background color on the page as well. Um, so page background, let's make it slightly different like this. Okay, let's say this is my report page. And this is the page that I want to show when I hover on a chart. Uh, so after building this, I go back to the, uh, to the visual that I want that report page to, to, to come up. On that visual, I go to the format. Under the format, there are lots of formatting options. One of them is tooltip. 
So this is where you can customize your tooltip page. Uh, and as you see, it can be a report page tooltip or it can be default. Now, when it is report page, you can go and choose the page which if you have multiple pages, you go and choose the one that you want to be the tooltip for this. I'm going to select this and that's it. Now, when you hover on this chart, you don't need to click. You have to hover on it and uh, wait for a little bit because it takes a little bit time for this to process. Then you see that this is working perfectly fine. So here it is. Uh, as you can see, when I hover on these charts, it filters data for that selection and the tooltip shows me only the combination of that selection. Very useful, very uh, powerful. This can be the layer in between your master detail design. I explained in another video how to create master detail uh, design scenario with drill through filter. Uh, make sure you go and check it out as well. This can be the, the middle layer in between. Sometimes people don't really need to go to that level of details. They want a little bit more than that black box, which is what this report page tooltip will give them. And you can have multiple report page tooltips for using in different visualizations and it works perfectly nice. One of the things that you can do after creating your tooltip page is that because users usually don't go to tooltip page directly, you can go to this page and hide this page. Hiding a page means that in Power BI Desktop, of course you see it, but it means that from user point of view, when they go to the report in the website, they will just see every page that is not hidden. Uh, from that page, they can see like this report page like that, but they cannot directly navigate to this uh, tooltip page, which is the way that it should be working. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe in our YouTube channel. Uh, we have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.